Welcome to this new short devlog video in which I will show you some changes or additions for the cutout animation tool for Blender. And in this video I will show you the um, exporter and especially the Godot importer. So I've made some changes or I have improved it and I think um, it works pretty good now. And that's what I want to show you here. So. We have our character here with its animations, the idle animation and the run animation, the rest pose, and we want to transfer it to Godot. So therefore we would just export it into our folder. So and let's call it stip.json. So the export is done, the files are here, the sprites and the JSON file. Now we will head over to Godot and just say import COA file. Um, now let's select our file here and open it. So you now immediately see that we have some informations here. For example, the change log, which displays um, when the file was exported, at which time some node information, how the scene is called, how many sprites um, are in the scene, how many bones are in that scene, and how many uh, animations. Here are the names for the animations, the length, and the frames per second. So um, now we can select our destination file, therefore we create a, a directory here and call the character. And let's say stip.tcn. TSCN. Uh, this is the new um, default scene format for Godot and that's what we will save it in. So now we just have to press OK and you see import complete. Please reload the scene. So now let's see. Here is our file that's updated and there are the sprites. So let's open this one. And you see we have um, our character with all nodes, all animations, which work perfectly fine. Now let's say we want to make some changes here in Blender. And let's say we want to create a new animation, which is called, for example, Damage. It is 30 frames long. long. And let's say we want to make some changes on our character. For example, we will create this node or the sprite here and attach it, attach it to this bone here. So it is here and we have this damage animation. Now let's export it. Overwrite this file here. So now let's go to Godot and open the importer. And you immediately see that we have um, this new date here. We have four, anim four animations and the damage animation is also listed. So now let, let's say um, before we import it, we will make a few changes to our file. Let's say we want to replace this uh, root node with, uh, with a rigid body node. And let's say we um, add a collision shape. <clears throat> so our character will collide in our game later. So capsule shape and now adjust it quickly. Okay. So we will save this file and now re-import our changes we have made in Blender. So let's re-import it. Okay, we have to reload the scene. And you see immediately we have this new sprite here. We have this um, damage animation, but we still have our rigid body object here and the collision shape. So if you um, toggle this merge source and destination scene checkbox, um, the importer will cleverly um, merge both scenes. So it will preserve the local changes you've made but still import all and update all the nodes from Blender. Okay, now let's say we want to uh, remove some changes. So let's say, okay, this node is not uh, needed anymore. Let's save it and export it. 
So go to Godot. Okay, the file is updated. Import and reload, and you see um, the sprite is gone. These files are still um, um, not uh, are still the same, and if we um, untoggle this checkbox and import it, you will see that the origin of original file will be imported. So now you see that uh, it is a node 2D and the collision shape is gone. So I think this importer is pretty flexible and gives you a very um, straightforward workflow. So you can jump to Godot and back to Blender and make changes and still work in Godot. So uh, I think I have the basic features done for uh, this add-on and uh, hopefully I can push it soon to GitHub and share it with you guys. But first of all, I want to at least create some little documentation. So um, you know how to use it, and um, but I don't think this will take too long. And so just wait some a little longer and um, you can use this add-on. So thanks for watching and if you liked this video, feel free to share it, subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.